So this set of slides is about the measuring of economic performance. And in this presentation, we are going to look at how we can use the national financial accounts to measure economic activity. So we can find the national accounts in the South African Reserve Bank quarterly bulletin. You can visit the web page of the South African Reserve Bank. Then you click on publications and notices and then on quarterly bulletins in the drop -in down menu. So we want to look at how to calculate gross domestic expenditure and gross domestic product using the quarterly bulletin. So what we show here is the expenditure on gross domestic product that is shown on page S113 of the September 2018 quarterly bulletin. You will remember that when we use the expenditure method to calculate GDP, we add firstly consumption expenditure by households. So that is shown in the quarterly bulletin. We add consumption expenditure by government. G. We add investment by business enterprises. So in the quarterly bulletin, they call it gross capital formation, but it's the same as investment. It includes gross fixed capital formation, so buying of capital equipment, and also change in inventories, which also forms part of investment. So you will remember C plus I plus G gives us gross domestic expenditure. Then there is also a residual item that is shown in the quarterly bulletin and that is just a balancing item. So you will either add the balancing item, the residual item, or subtract it depending on what the amount is for that particular year. Then we add exports, exports of goods and services. And we subtract imports of goods and services. So gross domestic product is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus Z. This is the gross domestic product. These figures are at current prices. So here is the bottom of the same page. So at the top, the figures were shown at current prices. So this is the expenditure on GDP, which is the same as GDP, at market prices. But the rest of these figures are at constant. 200 and at 2010 prices so at the level of prices in 2010 so you can see that the total gdp at current prices and at constant prices is the same only for 2010 that is because we are using 2010 prices so for other years it will differ because the quantities that, was that were produced in the different years are different. Of course, we're using the same prices, 2010 prices, but the quantities that were produced will be different. So we can use this GDP at constant prices to determine if the GDP grew or shrank for every particular year. If we calculate the percentage changes in the real GDP. So here we show the GDP at market prices, which we said is equal to C plus R plus G plus X minus Z. Then if we add primary income from the rest of the world, so that is income that was paid to South Africans 
that work in different countries. For example, South Africans that work in Dubai and earn salaries there, or profits earned by South African construction companies in Botswana. So all income that South Africans earn in the rest of the world is added to this GDP. And then we subtract income paid to the rest of the world. So this would be people that work and earn income in South Africa, but they are not South Africans. For example, the city citizens that work in South Africa and earn salaries here, or profits earned by BMW in South Africa because they have a factory here. So that is subtracted. GDP plus primary income minus primary income paid to the rest of the world gives us gross national income at market prices or GNI. And that is the income of South Africans regardless of where they stay in the world.